Dr. Joe here. So, you know, I've been making one big mistake regarding my purchase of Greek yogurt. And I suspect that you may be making the same mistake, which is the reason why I decided to do this very video. It's a short video, um, just a little tip for you guys. So, uh, Greek yogurt is about the only dairy that I consume. And I consume Greek yogurt for three main reasons. Reason number one is that it is a fermented food, which means the nutrients contained within it are more bioavailable. That's reason number one. Reason number two is that I use Greek yogurt as a very good source of calcium. And that is important to me, okay? It is. Uh, reason number three is that I also use Greek yogurt as my main source of probiotic. And by probiotic, I'm referring to using it as a supply of good bacteria for my gut. So that's one good reason why I tend to consume Greek yogurt. And that is where the problem has been coming from. Reason number three, that that's the fact that I use it as a probiotic uh, source. Because I always assumed that all Greek yogurt, and this may apply to other yogurts as well, uh, have got live bacteria in them and I was wrong okay I was wrong apparently not all of them have got live bacteria in them and if you want to confirm that they've got live bacteria in them then you have to really read the label and the manufacturer apparently has to state state it on the label that uh, it's got live bacteria but I didn't know that it's a dull moment you know a homo sensei moment um, so, um, I've got some brands here to sort of illustrate this very point. So, here's one brand that I use. This is a supermarket brand and I'm looking at the label and it's got no indication that it's got live bacteria in it. So, this won't be good for reason number three, okay? So, that's that. Um, now, here's another brand that I also tend to use. Now, let's look at this. Well, this one states that it's got life cultures in it, okay? So it's got Bifidobacterium, it's got Lactobacillus bulgaricus, and it's got Streptococcus thermophilus. So this one has got life cultures in it. So that satisfies my third reason. I can use it as a probiotic source. Here's another brand that I use. And I'm looking at the label now, and uh, it hasn't got any indication that there's life cultures in it, okay? So, there we go. And here's another brand as well. And this brand, looking at the label now, it's got life cultures in it. Um, it's got uh, Lactobacillus bulgaricus. It's got uh, Streptococcus thermophilus. And it's got Lactobacillus acidophilus, <laughs> and uh, it's got Bifidus and uh, Lactobacillus casei. It's got that as well. So um, these two have got live cultures in them, as indicated on the label. These two have no live cultures in them, if we go by you know the label. Now, why is it that these two haven't got any live cultures in them? Well, this type of Greek yogurt, they are called long life yogurts. What that means is they got a longer shelf life and what tends to happen is after the process of fermentation, these, okay, these yogurts are pasteurized and that process of pasteurization kills off the bacteria in them. So that means they're going to have a longer shelf life. So if you are going to use a Greek yogurt for the purpose of probiotic supply, these two will not be appropriate for you. Make sense? Then you have to go for these two. Because these ones have got life cultures in them. So, um, yeah, that was my Homer Simpson moment. Door. And uh, you learn something new every day. And uh, this is something new that I've learned. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, Maybe you knew about this before. I didn't know that. So uh, hopefully you're getting some value from this uh, very short video. Um, and uh, 
if if you are someone who uses yogurt a lot do let me know in the comment section and what type you, you do use and your reason for using greek yogurt by, by the way so uh, do let me know in the comment section um yeah hopefully you got some value from this very video if you did uh, at least you've learned something if you were in my position you would have learned something today if you did please give the video a thumbs up and uh, please share this video with your friends family and colleagues got any questions any comments uh, please leave them down below i think that's it for this very video until next time well this is dr joe signing out